implemented a series of programs over the years that have been beneficial to young people. Programs such as training for members on, 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 on different issues, human rights, child rights, on issues of environment, and of course having contributed their part in terms of ensuring that children of the Gambia have an education which is quality and which is relevant to their cause as children. Side by Side has been rendering social and humanitarian services to communities in the Gambia in the area of education, environment, health and other empowerment initiatives. If there's any resources that a country needs, is the human capital, which is important and fundamental to the development of any nation. That human capital, to a greater extent, resides in the young people. If you develop the youth folk of your country, then that country is starting to have a bright future. But any country, any nation that has no plan for the young people is a nation without a future. This website is expected to enlighten members about their activity plans and create opportunities for youths to showcase their skills, thereby contributing to national development. Ominjai, GRTS. The National Environment Agency hereby wishes to inform the general public that the next Operation Clean the Nation is scheduled for this Saturday, 25th January 2014. In light of the above, all National Assembly members, governors, CFOs, alcalos, ward councillors and government institutions are being reminded that a presidential directive has been issued requiring all of them to organize and participate in the national cleanup exercise within their respective areas of jurisdiction throughout the country. Well, time now to take our first break. We'll be back with news from outside the Gambia. Comium Super Savers. It's official. 99 Bluetooth to call any telephone in the Gambia. Yes, yes, yes. It's now cheaper to call any network from your Comium phone. 99 Bluetooth to call any network. Truly the lowest in the Gambia. Comium, making communication cheaper. 99. 99? Yes. Yes! Comium Super Savers. 99 budgets a minute. No need to look at the number you're calling. Just make sure it's your Comium phone you're calling with. Unbelievably cheaper to call with your Comium number. Terms and conditions apply. First minute is a regular rate. Any minute audit enjoys this offer. One of the many reasons we say your credit lasts longer with Comium. 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 We are better together. Super Savers. Lowest international call rates ever. Yes, you heard it. Comium offers you the lowest international tariff ever. Lower than anywhere else. Comium Super Savers. For the first time, you can also use your bonus credit to make international calls. Only from Comium. Now is the time to call family and friends all over the world. Welcome back. Deputies of the Malian Parliament have elected a new speaker. Isaka Sidibe, a relative of President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita, was elected by a landslide victory during a session of the Legislative Chamber. Also five policemen have been killed in a drive-by shooting incident in the outskirts of Cairo. The incident comes a few days before the anniversary of the revolution that toppled former President Hosni Mubarak. We have more in the CFI report. Ruling party lawmaker and relative of the president of Mali became the country's second most powerful politician Wednesday after he was elected to lead the troubled West African country's new parliament. Isaka Sidibe, a leader in the Rally for Mali party, was backed by 115 of the chamber's 147 lawmakers. His only rival, Umar Mariko, picked up just 11 votes. The 68-year-old Sidibe will have significant powers, becoming the de facto leader when President Boubacar Keita is on holiday or unable to perform his duties for any reason. We must work relentlessly for reconciliation between the daughters and sons of Mali, no matter what their political, religious or ethnic affiliation is. We must be the National Assembly of all Malians. Sidibe vowed the Malian parliament would not be a simple mouthpiece for the government. The fifth legislature of the Parliament of Children began in Guinea-Bissau. The young deputies warned their elders not to postpone the date for the general election set for March 16th. 
The transition president, Manuel Serifo Namagio, spoke at the inaugural session to try to reassure them, but the young parliamentarians remain skeptical. They are right to be because electoral census taking has not been finished with only two months left before the elections. Masked gunmen on motorcycles killed five Egyptian policemen when they opened fire on a checkpoint south of Cairo on Thursday. The attack came two days ahead of a commemoration of the third anniversary of the 2011 uprising. Police are preparing for a massive security deployment for the January 25th commemoration. With Morsi supporters calling for protests, they could lead to clashes with police and burning an American flag like happened in the past. Talks between the Syrian government and the opposition have begun in the Swiss city of Montreux. The talks were convened by the United States and Russia in an effort to end the ongoing conflict that has killed more than 100,000 people and to also discuss the future of President Bashar al-Assad. But as we hear in this report, the two sides and their backers are as far apart as ever conference to resolve Syria's devastating civil war opened in the Swiss town of Montreux Wednesday with heated disagreements among the two sides and world powers. The regime adopted an aggressive tone for the start of the conference. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry responded by backing the opposition's demand for a transfer of power to a transition government, saying there was no way Assad could stay in power. There is no one who has done more to make Syria a magnet for terrorists than Bashar al-Assad. He is the single greatest magnet for terrorism that there is in the region. And he has long since, because of his choice of weapons, because of what he has done, lost any legitimacy. 400 kilometers away in Davos, Switzerland, at the World Economic Forum, the Iranian president made himself heard and been invited to Geneva, then disinvited for not having accepted the proposal for a transition government to be put in place in Syria. Hassan Rouhani expressed his ideas. He said the best option for Syria would be to organize free democratic elections. Much further away in Jordan at Zatari refugee camp, Syrians remain skeptical about any solution that does not address the root of the problem. Other more successful paths could be taken. Assad is taking the military road. After all this killing, there's no way he will step down as a result of Geneva and hand over power to the Syrian people. We want a no-fly zone, a safe zone, an aid that goes to the people. All we want is to go home to Syria. For the refugees, they don't care if the solution is political or military. All they want to do is go back home. Time now to take a second break. We'll be right back. Property partner. Think Universal Properties. Universal Properties is the leading real estate developing agent in the Gambia. Universal Properties prides itself with experience in the property business. Our properties are well located in areas such as Brufut, Shukuta, Lamin Karawan and Tanji, close to the Camel Safari and opposite the river. The properties have all access to good road networks, electricity supply and water. Our payment terms are flexible and prices affordable. This is Universal Properties. We urge all Gambians to come on board. We are reliable, reasonable and cheap because we want to make home affordable to every Gambian. Visit Universal Properties today on FIB building along the Caraba Avenue. Universal Properties, the most experienced real estate company in the Gambia. The Gambia's female football team will be hosting their counterparts from Guinea-Bissau in an international friendly match on Saturday at the Box Bar Mini Stadium. MS Jalo visited the female players at the technical training center where they are training ahead of the weekend encounter and spoke with some of the players about the upcoming game. Speaking to the head coach, Madame so commonly called uh, BOM. Uh, to update us and give us how the preparations are going ahead of Saturday's game against Guinea-Bissau. Uh, first of all, I would like to say thank to the Almighty God for giving us the strength and uh, to start training with the national team. And uh, we commenced training a week before last. We play. Uh, we call upon the girls to report here at the centre that was week before last. 
We make scale within two days, that is Saturday, um, Friday, Thursday and Friday. Then we rest Saturday and Sunday and Monday we start our final training. Yeah. And we are just 